chicken cordon bleu casserole. It's what's for dinner tonight. Happy Wednesday. How's it going? Um, I've had a great day. I don't know about you. How about you? Have you had a great day? It's been a great day. It's been a great Wednesday. It's been a great week so far. I'm tired. It's been a long week, but it's been a great week. <laughs> so tonight we are going to try something fun. We're going to have chicken cordon bleu casserole. I love chicken cordon bleu. Cordon bleu. My family loves chicken cordon bleu. Um, but it's, it's not an easy dish to make. So I found something that's really the lazy way to make a, making chicken cordon bleu. I don't, I don't want to have to do all that stuff. It's not a difficult recipe. It's just more than I want to do. All right. So tonight we're going to make chicken cordon bleu casserole. Um, I've prepped most everything. You know, I've got my little, my microwave pressure cooker and I've already cooked and shredded my chicken. I have already cooked my pasta. <laughs> Dolly wants to be included. <laughs> And now we're just going to kind of make what we need to do to get it all put together. All right. So I have already got my oven started at preheating at 375 degrees. I have already got my foil pan pre-greased ready to go. Okay. I'm going to take my skillet here and I've got it at about a medium high heat. And I'm going to take four tablespoons of butter. Okay. I've already kind of got that pre-measured out there. Get that butter going and let that melt all the way down. All right, that butter is nice and melted down. So now I'm going to take four tablespoons I've already measured out of all-purpose flour and sprinkle that in there. Get me a whisk. Okay, we're going to let this cook up for just a couple of minutes. Get it all mixed in there together. You want to be sure... That you get it all incorporated, that flour all incorporated into that butter, because it'll it'll taste burnt or it'll taste raw. You don't want to taste raw flour later. Put that in there and let it kind of cook for a couple minutes. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna take my other hand four cups of milk, and we're gonna slowly pour that in here and let that get all incorporated in there together. We are going to continue to whisk and stir until all those clumps are broken up and that's all cooked together. I think she wants them. <laughs> she may have got a little bit of ham earlier when I was dicing it up. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, now we're going to let that sit and come to a simmer. Right, so now that it's all kind of cooked together, it's been sitting here for a little bit. This comes the fun part. <laughs> So we are now going to mix in some salt and pepper. Um, you know where you can get the actual measurements. Um, but again, it should be to taste, right? Salt and pepper, some garlic powder, and some paprika. Okay, we're going to stir that around again, and then we're going to turn this down to low. Got paprika all over my thumb. <laughs> All right, now we are going to turn this heat off. I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. Really weird. Then we're going to add about out right there. We're going to add two cups of shredded mozzarella cheese to this mixture and let that cheese melt down. Okay, so I've already dumped the noodles into this foil pan. You, you already know about my foil pans, okay? All right, so to that, we are just going to go ahead and just start dumping stuff in. We're going to dump in that chicken that I've already pre-cooked and pre-shredded. Then I have already diced up two ham steaks that I just got from the grocery store. You can buy the ham steaks. You can buy a big ham and dice it up. You can buy it pre-diced. It doesn't matter however you like it. It's just cheaper to buy it as a ham steak and dice it up yourself. So now we're going to take all that delicious, yummy, goody, cheesy sauce and we're going to dump it right in the pan with those noodles. <laughs> doesn't it look so good? Then we're just going to mix all that up together and get it all incorporated in and ready to go. Okay, we got all that evened out. Now, you know we're not done with the cheese. We're going to add some slices of Swiss cheese right on the top. I mean, you know, come on, it's cheese. We're, we're going to have a lot of cheese, right? <laughs> okay, so there we are. We've got all those cheese slices 
uh, on top of that, those noodles and the mixture and the cheese and the ham and the chicken, and it's oh so good. So our oven is good to go, preheated at 375 degrees. We're gonna pop this in there. Remember, everything's cooked. We just really need everything to meld together and get that cheese all nice and melted. Look at all that yummy deliciousness. Um, I don't know if my mic's working right now. <laughs> I hope it is. It wasn't earlier. It did, and then it just cut out mid, like mid everything. But um, hopefully it's working. If not, I'll be voiceovering again in a minute. I don't know. So anyway, um, there we go.